the nine harsh truths of life. Number one, you'll never get what you want if you don't ask for it. Imagine this for a second. You're laying in a hospital bed. You're 93 years old and it's late. You're alone. You close your eyes and in second your life begins to flash before you. You see yourself as a kid playing wiffle ball in your backyard with your best friends. Your heart skips a bit as you think about the first time you laid eyes on the love of your life. As you think about your children, tears begin to gently trickle down your cheeks. Then all of a sudden, you're hit with a realization that makes you sit straight up and scream. You decided to not pursue your passion because some office worker thought it was a stupid idea. The world is full of advice regarding how to get the most out of life. All of it is worthless if you don't treat your curiosity like a responsibility and give your inner voice the respect it deserves. People may laugh at you, but 9 times out of 10, that's because they don't have the courage to go after what they want and keeping you small helps them to feel big. The moment you let the words of others stop you from taking actions on a dream is the day you can kiss them goodbye. This is the very first harsh truth of life. Now, there are more 8 harsh truths of life that I wish I had accepted sooner. Number 2. The fastest way to improve your own life is by doing something to improve someone else's life. I remember the exact day my life went on the offensive. I was talking to my dad about my first world problems. Before I could get in group, he stopped me and said, Michael, shut up and go buy that beautiful wife of yours some flower. Later that day, I took my dad's advice and I went out and I bought my beautiful wife some flowers. She wasn't the only person smiling upon receiving them, so was I. The best way to get out of your own head is by doing what you can to place yourself in the hearts of others. The words, when you give, you get, are cliche for a reason, they are grounded in truth. Number 3. You'll never get what you want if you don't ask for it. A recovered heroin addict sat down at his computer and drafted a message to the CEO of a billion dollar company. He signed off by asking the man if he had time to meet. A month later, the recovered addict took the stage to talk to the CEO's employees about the tactics he used to turn his life around. Today, the man is giving talks all around his home country of Ireland and wrapping up his first book backed by a mainstream publisher. Some people describe the action of my friend Brian Penny as a breb, even ballsy. I don't. I call it a common sense. We get one shot at this life and if you don't put your fears aside and ask for what you want one day, you will wake up and realize that Tuesday looks like a whole hell of a lot like Monday. Number 4. If you don't learn how to play well with others, you'll never accomplish anything. Most people don't care if you are the smartest person in the room, nor do they care if you are the strongest or the fastest, but they absolutely do care whether you are good to them or not. This doesn't mean you have to run around acting like positive pat all the time and hugging it out with each person you meet, but it does mean that you have to be polite. It means you have to respect other people by showing up on time and doing what you say you are going to do. It means you have to be interested in people's life and do what you can to leave each person better than you found them. People want to spend time and do business with people they like and people they trust. This is true today and it will be true tomorrow. Number 5. Most people are going to let you down. How many days of your life have you wasted being angry at someone for doing something that you didn't agree with? Did it solve anything? As long as human beings continue to be a human, they are going to let you down. They are going to annoy you. They are going to lie. They are going to hurt you. Well, guess what? You do the exact same thing. That means that you have two choices. You can continue thinking that you don't do anything wrong or you can forgive people and get on with your day. Number 6. Your ideas will never fly if you don't know how to communicate them. 
when we think about successful people, we think about these words like passion and grit. And sure, these words are important, but they lose significant value if you are not taking the steps to be an effective communicator. Name one successful person in your life who doesn't have strong communication skills. It's hard, right? What about the people you know who have the healthiest relationships? It's equally as hard, right? My friend John Gormor hit the nail on the head when saying in a Facebook post, The happiest people I know are always the best communicators I know. After all, communication leads to connection and connection leads to trust and trust leads to everything good. Number 7. Nobody wants to hear your excuses. I'm too young. I'm too old. I don't have enough money. I don't have enough experience. No matter how tempting it may be to say these words to make yourself feel better, nobody wants to hear them. The people who make a dent in the world don't sit around thinking about why they can't do something. Instead, they ask themselves what they are going to do about it. Seth Godin got it dead right. He quote, The best way to complain is to make something. Number 8. You cannot be valuable if you do not understand what other people value. Most people get things backward. They spend all their thinking about what they want to do in their life and then get frustrated when nothing pans out. What they should be doing is listening to the people around them and taking the time to identify how their strengths can help people to overcome their weakness. This was a bit of a speech, but the words above courtesy of my closest childhood friend are right. You can't add value to the people if you don't first take the time to understand what is important to them and then take the time to find that sweet spot where your skills intersect with their needs. For example, listeners always win. Number 9. You are the company you keep. If you spend time with negative people who are constantly complaining about their situation, it's only a matter of time before you follow suit. On the flip side, if you spend time with kind, supportive people who choose to grow instead of erode, it's only a matter of time before you rise up as well. Who you decide to spend your time with is the most important decision you will ever make. If you collect the right friendships, everything else will take care of it itself. The secret to success is found in good company. Thank you very much for watching my video. If you are new to my channel, please leave a like, comment and make sure to subscribe this channel for more content like this.